So after over a week of being demonetized in every single video, you'd think I'd change to something a bit less controversial in terms of the YouTube rules. So safe to say, this will be demonetized as well. So let's start the video as we usually have in the last couple of weeks. Sit back, shut your mouth, enjoy this video, and then fuck off. So, conservatives like to paint themselves as the only ones who care about human life. Most Republicans and conservatives are pro-life on the issue of abortion. Now they say people like me and women who, who get abortions are essentially murderers, mass murderers as well, things like P Planned Parenthood, are these institutions of death. So you'd think a group of people who think human life is so precious would care about all stages of human life. They care about you when you're unborn. They care about you when you're a baby, a toddler, a child. They care about you when you're a teenager and an adult and then as an elderly person. They just care about you so much. They're gonna do everything to make your life better. Well, of course that isn't the case. The fun and correct argument people like to use is that Republicans care about human life until a baby is actually born and then they don't care about you at all because they will pursue economic policies to make your life worse in every single way. And of course that extends to things like healthcare, which is like your literal life, which they'll happily privatize and price out of many, many people, especially in America. So one of the biggest pro-life zealots is Ben Shapiro, and he says this is informed by his religion, and he is an Orthodox Jew. So you'd think another conservative who finds human life so precious during this pandemic would be so worried about everyone. Maybe he'd support things like lockdowns to keep everyone inside so you don't die from COVID-19. Well, he might care about some people's lives, but it seems he doesn't really care about your grandparents' lives because if you're over 80, which is past the life expectancy in America, Ben Shapiro doesn't really care if COVID-19 gets you because after all, like most Republicans, we have to reopen the economy. And if your grandparents die, if over 80 year olds die, then so be it. That is a sacrifice that we are willing to make for the almighty market, for the almighty line. The line must be appeased. The line must start going up. Take a look what he said to Dave Rubin. Trying to balance the risks and rewards here is a difficult thing. The easiest thing you can do is say, all damages caused are caused by the pandemic. All of the good things that are happening, like you being alive, that is caused by me, right? It's sort of the Gretchen <laughs> Whitmer strategy in Michigan. And, right. and, that's, and, and that, that's a very easy thing to say, but in reality, you know, they, not only are there countervailing issues on the other side, such as the fact that, you know, people are going to lose their jobs and their livelihoods and their dreams and quality of life actually matters. But none of these governors are going to keep things locked down forever. I mean, Andrew Cuomo, when he said just save one life five days later, he's saying we're going to open up parts of, of New York state. OK, so which is it? I mean, obviously, that means that more people are going to be infected. So you were always going to make this public policy consideration. Nobody just wants to say the obvious truth, which is that we're all making actuarial deductions about what are the costs in terms of how many human lives how many how many years of life because that is an actual issue in actuarial tables right if, if somebody who is 81 dies of covid-19 that is not the same thing as somebody who is 30 dying of covid-19 i mean if this were killing children everyone would be in for lockdown forever that's the reality right if a bunch of 5 year olds were dying of covid-19 and and people were saying get back to work everybody would be like nope i'm not letting my 5 year old die if grandma right. dies in a nursing home at age 81 that's tragic and it's terrible also the life expectancy in the united states is 80 so that that is not the same thing in, in moral terms, you want to save every life you can. At the same time, to pretend that it is of the same, it is of the same calculation, the age of the person, no public policy acts like that. Not a single public policy in American life acts like that. So there you go with Ben Shapiro. If the virus was threatening his children, he would never go out again. But the elderly are an acceptable sacrifice to make the economy better. That is essentially what many conservatives have been saying. So you can see here the arguments that a lot of them are making is that, you know, human life when you get to 80 is not worth so, so much. These people have lived their whole lives in your country, most of them. They have paid their taxes their whole lives and they're trying to retire in peace. They're using their money to pay for a retirement home. So people like you who claim to be so pro-life you want to stop abortion will happily sacrifice these people just because they are over 80 and that is the life expectancy of America? So is this like that weird cult in midsummer where when you're 70 you jump off a cliff or something? Is it like some form of eugenics where he considers this person to not have as much benefit to society 
as a 30 year old. Of course, the 80 year old is not gonna live as long as the 30 year old. But why are we starting to say that an 80 year old's life is not worth the same as another adult's life? They're still an adult and they've actually contributed to society and they were expecting to retire in peace because they've done their bit in terms of at least paying taxes. But people like Ben Shapiro think it's a worthwhile sacrifice to jumpstart the economy as soon as possible. Let's not forget the American lockdown hasn't actually even lasted that long. The European ones have lasted a lot longer and there's no end date in sight for a lot of them. So I'm from the UK. We haven't had any end date announced. We're not relaxing restrictions. And the other European countries that are relaxing restrictions like France, Italy and Spain had way stricter restrictions than we did here pretty much couldn't leave your home. We can leave our home right now. Now, I just wanted to bring up a fun part as well about Ben Shapiro and baby Hitler. So, Ben Shapiro allegedly is so pro-life, he would not even have bought baby Hitler. Let's take a look at a part of a speech he gave about a year ago. Right, the, the, the argument, I guess here, is that would you kill baby Hitler? And the truth is that no pro-life person on earth would kill baby Hitler. Right, because baby Hitler wasn't Hitler. Adult Hitler was Hitler. Baby Hitler was a baby. Right, what you presumably want to do with baby Hitler was take baby Hitler out of baby Hitler's house and move baby Hitler into a better house where he would not grow up to be Hitler. Right? That's the idea. So again, it exposes the total hypocrisy. I guess with that baby Hitler analogy, Ben Shapiro is trying to say, I'm so pro-life, look at me. I'm so, I, you know, I value it so dearly, I wouldn't even have bought baby Hitler, despite him being one of the most evil men in history, despite the potential for him, even in a different environment, to still be <laughs> a pretty awful guy, I would just not abort him. But when it comes to grandma during the COVID-19 pandemic, well, life expectancy is only 80. If grandma's 81, we got to take that into consideration before we start opening the McDonald's again because grandma's getting on a bit. And as someone who has some elderly relatives, so my granddad is 87, my grandma is 84, and my other grandma is, n is nearly 90, it's quite insulting that to rush back to normalcy, we would sacrifice the lives of these three people when we don't know when they're going to die. In my case, they're pretty healthy for, for elderly people. So I would rather wait a bit longer, make the economy get worse and not have to kill people like that. People who've lived in this country their whole lives, who, who have contributed to this country. I'm not gonna just sacrifice them so the wealthy in the West can maintain their wealth because let's keep it real, it wasn't really working for any of us before this pandemic. So I'm in no rush to get back to it. The government needs to sort it out in a way that puts human life first. And that seems to be an alien concept for most Western governments, apart from places like New Zealand and some Scandinavian countries, apart from Sweden. So yeah, just never believe Republicans' arguments that they're the most pro-life and they value human life. Even before this pandemic, they only cared about human life before it was born, seemingly, because when someone was born, they liked doing everything in their power to make life as hard as possible and pursue economic policies and foreign policy that kills people. And in, now during the pandemic, they're weighing up the argument of killing granny and granddad so they can open the economy as fast as possible because the stock market is, is doing really badly. We wouldn't want all these wealthy people to lose all their money in the stock market. We wouldn't want the Kushner family to have all their properties devalued by a pandemic. No, we've got to get right back to it. And just as you can see in America, the insanity of reopening basically half the states tomorrow just to try and kickstart the economy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please leave a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. If you want to find me on social media, that is at the Cavernacle on Twitter. That is the main one. Also Facebook and Instagram. Another big one for me is my Reddit. So that is r slash the Cavernacle for my subreddit, u slash Tommy Cahill 1995 for my personal Reddit. My Patreon is in the description and thanks to all my patrons as usual. Also my WordPress is down there. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.